Good afternoon. Would you please introduce yourself and tell us where you're coming from and what brought you to Swiss Medical? My name is Don Lamoureux. I come from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, I checked out several uh, places before I chose Swiss Medica. My sister-in-law had, five years ago, had some stem cell work on her neck and uh, it was quite successful in St. Louis in, in the United States. And um, so I got, she got me in, I came down with Parkinson's and I was suggested to me to check out what can be done with stem cell and Parkinson's. Um, I, what else did I try? I um, looked at a, a company in, based in, um, in Mexico, um, based in um, Colombia, but out of the United States. But the Colombia, they were doing the stem cell research there, stem cell treatment rather. And um, I was tempted. I then I heard about Swiss Medica. I was tempted to go with the one in Colombia, but just I had kind of a feeling of danger in Colombia, and I wasn't sure how what the quality would be. So I was leaning more towards a European solution. And I was thinking either Germany or Switzerland. And so I checked out Switzerland. And I looked up and Googled it. And I looked, I asked what are the three best clinics for Parkinson's in Switzerland. And Swiss Medica came up in the, uh, the, the Google. So I followed through on that. I was still following, checking out the other places and so on, see where they were going. And there were just little disappointments. Some of them had spent too much time devoted to um, aging processes and also uh, facelifts and all that kind of stuff. So I wasn't quite sure how dedicated they were in the area of Parkinson's. So I uh, contacted Swiss Medica and I asked them some questions and I asked them, do you have any testimonials and, uh, and do you have any uh, results or anybody can talk to me about it? And eventually I just started talking to one or two of the uh, advisors at Swiss Medica and, and then I um, listened to the, uh, the doc at a, a meeting on Zoom with the doctor. And um, so it looked good. It looked professional and it looked, uh, it was, they were friendly, which is nice. They've been very friendly here. I, that's, I find that's very nice because I'm so used to the, the in Canada, the, all the medical facilities are so crowded and overworked. Nobody has time to smile. Nobody has time to, to be warm and friendly. So this is the, um, a big plus for this organization. And that's what usually a sick person needs, yeah? To, yeah. For, for comfort. Um, Donald, when, when were you diagnosed with Parkinson's and how your life changed ever since? I was diagnosed with Parkinson's um, a week last May, oh, sorry, a year last May. And what happened is I realized I was shaking, tremors. So I, um, and a little bit of stiffness in my movements. So I contacted my, I, I got hold of a neurologist at uh, Michael Guerin Hospital in Toronto. And he recommended to me to go on to the levodope. And uh, that basically stopped the tremors and stopped the, um, stopped the tremors and maybe a little better balance, maybe. I didn't have a big problem with balance. I'm usually pretty balanced anyway, so. But then what made you, what pushed you into considering other alternative uh, treatments? One, because 
it didn't look like look, I was just scared that it was going to end up with me having dementia. My brother has dementia and Alzheimer's. So I was very concerned about that. And I was very concerned that it was only, they were only treating the symptoms. There was no plan to deal with what caused the, uh, whether even to stop it from progressing even more, let alone anything else. So that was very discouraging. And that's why they, um, that's why I, uh, I'm still taking Levid Levidope, but I'm, um, it's not a real solution as far as I'm concerned. Have you discussed with your neurologist about uh, having stem cell treatments? And what were the comments of his? He had no objection to it. He just said, that's fascinating. Give me a report when you come back, <laughs> which I, I just asked you about the report. So um, the, the, a lot of people in the medical profession are curious. They're very curious about a stem cell. They're not going to jump rah rah, but they're, you know, they're 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 starting to. I was surprised that my neurologist didn't know anything about it at all. That was really shocking. Um, because they're they're treating there are other places that are treating it differently. One of the one hospital in um, Toronto uses deep DBS, deep brain stimulus, which has I think involves some kind of cutting. That kind of upset me. <laughs> Another one was doing focused um, ultrasound. Both these ones are funded by the Ontario government, but it's so like a year long at least wait to get in. There's no guarantee that you get accepted. So that would, he said, don't even bother you. They, they won't, it would be very difficult to get into the, those programs which would have been nice because I'm, I'm paying up. This is coming out of my family money for, for this thing. I'm not, I don't have any insurance. I have regular, I do have extra insurance for other things that are approved, but not this. I see. Yeah, and uh, while waiting, the Parkinson's could have progressed. Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. So um, what kind of treatment did you have in this clinic? In relation to the, I had, I had real problems with my knees. That was really bothering me. Um, climbing stairs was a real, was a painful. So I started sw switching from my right knee to my left knee. And that worked out for a while. Then the left knee started hurting. So I went on an exercise regime. I do the Aquafit. I do that six times a week. I've lost 40 pounds doing that. And it's helped. It's helped with flexibility. So I'm very committed to, to doing something. Um, what else? A uh, couple of words about our oh. medical, medical stuff, about the medical part in the clinic. Well, I've, I've, I've done a lot of physio here and uh, they dealt with my knee they, they, they pulled out a whole bunch of liquid out of my knee and used the stem cell on the knees. And that so far that's worked out pretty well. But I think obviously, of course, with getting rid of the liquid from the knee, with, with, it's, re it's really helpful because it's very painful. So they did that. And t in relation to the Parkinson's, they um, took some um, scrapings from my spinal cord for the bone marrow and they injected they processed that somehow i don't know i don't have the details on that they processed it and then they inject i infused it into my system um i think they've, they've also started to use um, some umbilical cord um wharton's jelly it's called in the in the United States, in Canada, in, in, came from England, the, the, the expression, but it's the umbilical cord. And it's the, it's the most effective, apparently it's the, that's the most effective of all the, has more stem cells in there than anywhere else in the body. So I was very enthusiastic about that. That was one of the things that pushed, not all of them offer that, not all the clinics offer that service. 
What was interesting is that we had a room with um, all this air coming at me, all these little vents, and it's used for disinfecting. And um, I, I'd never seen this before. I thought it was something like out of a funhouse uh, uh, procedure, but it, it, they've been very um, clean antiseptic wise throughout the whole place. They're very clean and they're very, um, the food has been good too. <laughs> the food is better than I expected. In the initial uh, information packet that came out, they said I have a breakfast and a lunch and then supper would be takeout. So I was quite happy that it wasn't takeout. It was a, a properly cooked meal. Um, a, little bit, um, a, little bit, a little bit of advice for those who are planning to visit our clinic and have some fears coming to Serbia. Uh, if you had, what helped you to overcome those fears? And maybe now you, you Okay, today you will go to the city, you'll see a little bit of, yeah. of the city center. But for now, what is your general impression? There is no, there was no problems with the, the border or anything like that. They uh, you know, just looked at my passport and stamped. Um, so that was all, that was all pretty good. Um, there wasn't any, any kind of bureaucratic hurdles or any kind of things like that, that to deal with. So that was good. Um, I also had an MRI at another clinic for in conjunction with what's going on here and uh, that was maybe a 20 minute wait it was not too bad it takes like in Canada you wait six months for an MRI that's how difficult it can be it can be to get it and here it's just 15 20 minutes Wait, Donald. You will wait six months in Canada in a private clinic. You will wait here for ages as well if you want to do it, uh, right? In uh, public? With a state public uh, health. Uh, okay. But if you have uh, money, you could just go to a private. They do it. Uh, if they have spot, they do it today. If they yeah. have spot, they do it tomorrow. That's the way it is in the United States, yeah. Yeah. Not in but Canada. But in Canada, no? No. You're not, you, you cannot just... Uh -huh, okay. it, it's difficult to... To do a private MRI, it can be done, but it's not not that easy. Really? Yeah. Do you expect this? They're they're very resistant. The government is very against that because they're worried that every, that the whole system is going to go private, and then the poorer people are going to get left out, left out. They're going to be left at the. This is a very big concern in Canada that, that they're trying to move the Canadian system over to the American system. So uh, this big, it's so a big. The Canadian, the Canadian med medical system has nothing in common with the uh, American one. And nothing. Gen generally, it's better than the American in terms of uh, prenatal deaths and any kind of severe reactions and so on. They do it pretty well, but they, they, you wait, you wait for, you wait for hip replacements. You wait for th that's again six to twelve months for a hip replacement or a knee replacement or something like that. So what would be your advice at the end of the day for those people who, who feel a little bit concerned coming to Serbia? Well, I, um, I was very happy about, I mean, I chose Swiss Medica because of the Switzerland connection. Because Switzerland has a, Switzerland, Germany and France have a very good reputation and, in Canada. Um, Serbia is not that well known, it, it, it's, um, but I figured if the Swiss were running the whole setup it, it was going to be good because the Swiss have a very good reputation um, in Canada and everywhere. Germany has pretty good reputation too. Um, so, but everything is I couldn't really recommend anything better. It's just well run, well done. 